Are you considering making Portland, Texas your new home, but you want to understand what it's really like to live there? Well, in this video, I'm getting into the pros and the cons of living in Portland, Texas, and I'm going to be giving you the inside scoop to help you make this informed decision. So be sure to stick around so you don't miss any of the crucial details. And if you are thinking about moving to the area and you need some more information, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below for you. And whether if you're returning to my channel or you're new, welcome. I'm Leslie Milner, your local real estate agent here, and I create weekly content on Corpus Christi and the surrounding areas, giving you insights on the real estate market as well as the daily lifestyle. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Corpus Christi and the surrounding areas, then make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Give this video a like and tap that notification bell so that way you can stay updated on all the weekly content that I put out about Corpus Christi and the surrounding areas. And with that said, let's get into the pros and the cons of Portland, Texas. Before we get into the pros and the cons of Portland, let's do a quick overview of where Portland is located and the population of the city. It's just a short drive over the Harbor Bridge from Corpus, and Portland really combines the small town charm with easy access to the city amenities, and it has a population of around 20,000 people, and it is a community-focused lifestyle, and Portland is increasingly becoming a more desirable place to live, and that really leads me into the first pro, which is the proximity to Corpus Christi and all the local developments that are coming to the area, because living in Portland means that you're just right down the road from Corpus Christi with all its larger city benefits, right? With more restaurant options, stores to choose from, and more events and activities to go to. And Portland itself, though, is starting to grow and welcome new developments like a Target, more fast food chains, and other retail shops, which really brings more convenience and jobs to the area. And a quick side note is that the new Target is still on track to be completed this year, and in the next couple of months, it should be ready and open for business in Portland. Pro number two is the coastal lifestyle. So for those who love the water, this city offers a range of water activities, whether you're into boating, going pier fishing, wave fishing, even kayak fishing, or just simply going to the beach down the road, the pace here is much more laid back than more active cities. And the coastal lifestyle is a bit different than those fast paced cities and might take you some time to actually get used to it. Residents of Portland really tend to embrace each moment, really getting to enjoy the relaxed environment here. Moving on to pro number three, which is another big advantage of living in Portland, is the strong sense of community and the safety of the area. Portland is known for its community engagement and where safety is a top priority of the area. Compared to larger cities, Portland does have lower crime rates, making it a place where the residents can feel secured and connected and you have community events and local gatherings that are not just for annual occurrences but part of the everyday life here really reinforcing the tight-knit feel of the community whether it's a block party a school event or even a local event that's going on there's always an opportunity to connect with your neighbors and friends and according to niche.com you have portland's crime rates that are notably lower than the national average and the statistics show a particularly low rate of violent crimes in that area and it's making it a safe choice for families and individuals that are alike and this commitment to maintaining a safe environment is a big draw for new residents that are looking for a more peaceful place to call home so if you are looking for a safe place to live where the community values are strong and you feel like you're a part of a close-knit group, then Portland could be the perfect spot for you. 
Now pro number four, which is the education. And the City of Portland School District is Gregory Portland Independent School District. And Gregory is a small town just right up the road from Portland. And it's combined into one school district because there aren't many students for its own district. And Gregory Portland ISD is known for its commitment to student achievement. And it offers a broad range of extracurricular activities. And this district does play a crucial role in the student's success and the district is made up of four elementary schools, one middle school, and one high school. And it serves around 4,500 students, having that student-teacher ratio 15 to 1 in the district. And this allows for personalized attention and has a supportive learning atmosphere. And according to the state test scores, you have 41% of the students in the district that are proficient in math and 42% of the students that are proficient in reading. And something to take note of in this district is it has a high average graduation rate of 93%. And students here also do very well on their standardized tests, having an average SAT score of 1100 and an average ACT score of 25 now. These educational factors made Gregory Portland ISD a compelling reason for parents to consider Portland not just as a place to live, but as a place to provide their children with excellent educational opportunities. The last pro is the outdoor activities and Portland has a few parks, trails, and nature preserves that provide endless opportunities for outdoor lovers. And the city of Portland is dedicated to promoting a healthy lifestyle with its well-maintained outdoor spaces and city events that happen every month. In some areas to enjoy outdoor activities in Portland is the nicely remodeled Indian Point Park and Pier, which is open 24 seven and it offers a spot to enjoy some pier fishing. And the pier has gotten major upgrades to the handrails. It had more green lights added, has new fish cleaning stations and upgraded lights throughout the pier. You also have Sunset Lake Park that features a two mile hike and bike trail that's constructed of an old roadway that transects one of the most diverse coastal marsh and wetland habitats anywhere along the Texas coast. You can fish, swim, canoe, kayak, sail, hike, bike, or even enjoy bird watching at Sunset Lake Park. Now let's get into the first con of living in Portland, which is the limited nightlife and events that go on. Since it is a smaller town, Portland naturally offers fewer nightlife activities and city events and festivals, but however, it does host monthly events for the community, providing some local entertainment options, as well as hosting some festivals throughout the year. And Portland is known for Windfest, which is a festival that is family friendly and it features a carnival, it has activities for all ages, and it has live entertainment. So for those who are seeking more vibrant nightlife or more community experiences, you might find yourself heading to downtown Corpus Christi often to enjoy the many options of restaurants, bars, and the larger community events and festivals. The second con to consider is the infrastructure and the amenities available in Portland. While the city is growing and developing in terms of infrastructure and broader amenities, the current retail, shopping options, and restaurant options within Portland remain somewhat limited, often requiring a trip to Corpus for certain stores or restaurants. However, the upcoming development of the new Target is expected to bring more retail spaces and potentially enriching the local shopping landscape and reducing that need to travel for shopping and dining. And the third con is limited employment opportunities. While Portland is a great place to live with its proximity to Corpus, it is important to consider the local job market in the area with employment opportunities in Portland itself are somewhat limited. The available opportunities are in sectors such as retail, education, and the service industries. And for those who are looking for more specialized or higher paying careers, Portland residents find themselves commuting to Corpus for their work. 
Now, this con is a consideration for those moving to Portland and are looking for those diverse job options close to home. The fourth con is the climate here in Portland, and the climate here is humid subtropical, so it can be challenging at certain times throughout the year, especially in the warmer months because of how hot it gets down here in South Texas. You have those high humidity and temperatures throughout the spring and summer months, and come the winter months, it's more mild temperatures, averaging a typical winter day by being in the 50 degrees, and it rarely gets really cold here, but there are days that it does happen in the winter months, but something to really take note of is it gets very windy here at certain times with wind speeds being around 15 to 30 mile per hour with the wind gusts being around 40 mile per hour on certain days so you do need to be prepared for more windy days than anything and also being prepared for this coastal weather is very crucial when you're considering a move and the last con since portland is near the gulf coast that means you have a higher risk of hurricanes and tropical storms hitting where you live Potential residents here in Portland should consider this risk when you're considering a move here because it does involve property insurance and emergency planning and the city of Portland does have a guide for you to be prepared if an emergency were to come to the coastal bend so it is something to get familiar with just in case it happens. So that wraps up this video on the pros and the cons of Portland, Texas. Today I cover the coastal lifestyle. The new developments coming, I touched on the education scene, the outdoor activities available, but on the flip side, I did discuss some challenges including the limits in nightlife and events as well as the need to travel outside Portland for certain amenities and shopping experiences due to the developing infrastructure. So if you are considering a move to Portland and need some guidance, Feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. And if you did find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and click that notification bell so that way you can stay updated on all the weekly content that I put out about Corpus Christi and the surrounding areas. I'm Leslie Milner, and I'll see you in the next video.